whether they liked it or not. Because I've said to them, if you learn how to do a bit of this yourself, then when you hire somebody whose job it is to sell, you'll know what to expect because you've done it yourself. And in running a business, I'm afraid you've got to do things that maybe you didn't sign up for when you first started your business. That's just the way it is. But when I meet companies, I've got a few at the moment, but I've got one particular organisation at the moment who's in the, uh, let me call it the property business. And their language does not lend itself anything to do with sales, apart from when they've actually made that transaction, then they call it a sale. <laughs> Up until that point, that word doesn't come into their vocabulary, I'm changing that. And as I've changed that, they've started to realise that they're actually in the business of selling, yeah. not in the business of moving whatever um, product they're trying to move. And interestingly, they're in a, an industry where they have a sales opportunity at two different occasions, and they didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. And now I've changed their thing. I've introduced the word. And it's okay if I scare one of the two, two of them off, because I only want two or three really good people, and then we'll build on that. Again, it's quality, not quantity. And if one or two kind of. You see, sometimes what happens is when I go into companies and you start to maybe change things, and the skill in changing things, in my opinion, it's trying to work out what it is that an organisation can deal with at any one time. So you don't just blast in there and go, right, let's change everything and we'll do it all overnight. No, you've got to figure out what they can take at any one time. And I do that purely based on my intuition. Um, but um, um, I, I, um, I, 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 I'm changing their, their attitude towards things. and. Funny enough, they, they had a bit of a light bulb moment when I said, no, why don't we call it this, and let me explain why, and they started to change the way they act. What's that going to do for them as a business? They'll get better results. And the, well, the, the point I'm most making, I had a strong belief yeah, that, yeah. um, so in, in the context of sales, <laughs> is that uh, every member of the organisation is part of sales force. I, or I, 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 I even um, include receptions in yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, this talks to some of the companies I've spoken to where they go, oh, it's a decimal. No, actually, if you're the receptionist, you may be picking up something very difficult and something else you do, there's some identity, there's things going on, you may need people around. Just engage them Absolutely. Um, and bring them into the organisation to we can tell them but it's, but it's even, but it's even uh, so many things that I've been, I mean, if, if the skill in, I have to think of other companies is picking up on the very subtle things that they don't realise actually have a massive effect on their business. 